Hey everyone, John here from the Deer's Embroidery Legacy and today I'm going to share a scary fun design with you that I came up with just for Halloween. It has dimension and it has sparkle. Now, if you like these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell so you can be notified every time we release a new video. So let's get started. Now this mini Halloween collection has six different designs and they all look pretty similar but they're different with regards to the application. You have two that will make earrings, you have one that will make a pendant, you have one that if you glue some hardware onto the back you can make a brooch and then also you can make little hair clips just by gluing hardware onto the back of the smaller ones as well. And they are kind of unique in that they do use three of my favorite products. You don't need to use them but you'll get a much more dramatic effect and that's where we're going to sew them out with and that is our puff stuff to add dimension we're going to add mylar to make it sparkle and we're going to use our prep patch to give a little bit more stability within the actual uh, design itself so let's get this onto the machine and let's sew it out so you can see the results now the items we're going to use are our round hoops I'm going to use some painters tape I'm going to use two bobbins one white and one black the white one for the mylar and the black one for the puff stuff. I'm going to use my prep patch. One side is a little dimply than the other and the dimply side goes face down. Now you can also use a wet and gone stabilizer as well and I would double that over if that is what you are using in place of the prep patch. I have two pieces of mylar, one for the front of the design and one for the back of the design. And then I have my puff stuff which will add the dimension to the design. Now I'm going to take my round hoop and I'm going to take my piece of prep patch and I'm going to make sure that it is face down, dimply side down, and I'm going to hoop it into the round hoop. I love round hoops because it keeps everything nice and secure in every direction and you can see it's nice and tight as a drum. Give it a little tighten and I'm off to the races. Now I'm going to make sure that I have a white bobbin. I want to use a white bobbin for the mylar. I'm going to put my hoop onto the sash frame, make sure that it is in place and secure, and then I'm going to start the machine. It's going to do a single run stitch that is going to outline all three of the objects. Now once the outline is complete, and that's just a single run stitch, and that's going to show me the placement of putting my mylar, I'm going to take the hoop off the machine and I'm going to just quickly trim all of the little extra threads that I see on the back side of the frame. So any bobbin threads, any top threads that have come through, I'm just going to clean those up now, and that way it's going to give me a much cleaner result when these are done. I don't want to have any of those stitches kind of showing underneath of the mylar. And I'll just cut every thread away, brush them away. Now I'm going to take my piece of mylar and I'm going to take my painter's tape and tape my mylar into place. Trimming the mylar down to size I'll tape the front piece and then I'll turn it over and I'll tape the other piece of mylar onto the back side of the hoop. Make sure that it's secure so that when I put it on the machine and it runs all of the mylar stitching, I won't have any issues with the bottom piece of mylar moving within the frame. Once all three pieces of the mylar are run on the hoop, then I'm going to remove the hoop again. And now while the design is still within the hoop, I'm going to remove the painter's tape and I'm going to carefully remove the mylar from the front of the design. And once it's removed from the front, I'll just make sure that all the little pieces are gone. Then I will go to the back side, again remove the painter's tape and very carefully remove all of the mylar from the design at this point. It'll make it easier to clean afterwards, trim away any excess threads that I see so that it's going to be nice and clean and then we'll just turn it over to the front side and this is when we're going to take our puff stuff and I'm going to use a little more painter's tape and I'm going to make sure that the puff stuff is put down in the four corners so it's not going to move or pull in while it embroiders 
and then the design will go back onto the machine. I'm going to make sure that my bobbin has been switched to black so that the back side of my embroidery is going to look just as clean as the front side does. Now I'm going to put back on my hoop and away I go. It will continue to sew all of the embroidery. The thing I love about Puff Stuff is you don't have to make any special adjustments to the design file. It just keeps that raised effect. When the design's done, I'll remove it from the hoop and I'm going to cut each of the pieces apart individually so that I can then go in and remove all of the prep patch and I'll just get all of that out of the way. And once all of the prep patch is away from the design, then I'll go in and I will very quickly just cut away all of the excess puff stuff so when I wash it away there'll be less residue. Now that all of my individual pieces are cut out I'm just going to take them to the water and I'm just using lukewarm water and a toothbrush to get rid of that puff stuff it will just completely disappear and once I see all of the residue gone, I'm just going to let it dry. Well, the only thing I can say is these are spectacular designs. They are incredible. I love how they look. I love the clean outlines, the sparkle from the mylar, the dimension from the puff stuff. They are quick on the machine and they sew out. I made sure that the black bobbin on the back actually makes the design just look finished on both sides. These are just awesome and they are fun. Now, if you want to get these designs or any of the products that I use, they'll all be linked in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and have a spectacular time.